the hub in general, I think, is a big highlight for me this year. And it's because um, it's going to be fully licensed for the first time. It's going to be the largest outdoor temporarily licensed patio in the city of Toronto. You can come down and have some amazing food by uh, Parts and Labor, our food partner, and hear amazing music, see amazing performances. We have an installation by the Cuban art collective Los Carpinteros there, Cardboard Beach. It's a whole array of cardboard furniture. One of the things I'm most excited about, I think, this year is all the work that we're doing with Matthew Barney, one of the greatest artists of our times. And uh, we're presenting his new film, River of Fundament, at the Elgin Theatre. It's a six hour long film. It's almost more like an opera. It has two intermissions. And then the AGO is doing an exhibition with him called Drawing Restraint. And Tiff Bell Lightbox is presenting the other opus magnum by Matthew Barney called Cremaster Cycle. And Matthew will be here to introduce that. And Kitty Scott and I are going to do a talk with Matthew Barney at the AGO on June 7th. We have Green Porno, which is a theatrical lecture by Isabella Rossellini, where she explains the sex life of animals. A concert that we're doing on June 14th at the Sony Center called If I Loved You. It's an idea by Rufus Wainwright, and he is going to interpret classical Broadway love duets, and has invited a group of male performers to perform these with him. So the classically heterosexual love duets will be performed by an all-male cast. All the sex I've ever had, the international version, a great project by Toronto's Mammalian Diving Reflex and Darren O'Donnell, which is a piece that he's done in six cities around the world, but never in Toronto. And he talks to elderly people about their love and sex life, and then turns that into a theatrical script. Everyone should really start at the hub. To me, that's about sort of charging up and then venture out and just keep your mind open. That's the best survival tip. And don't start to interpret or don't try to understand because I really believe art is not immediately about trying to understand something. It's really the arts that create communities that bring people together. And I think that's really what we're trying to do um, with the festival. 